Hello everyone and welcome back to Time Shot! We are here on the Time Shot server and I'm finally visiting my little village! It has been way too long. I think it's been a couple weeks since I've managed to come on just because we've been so busy with the move in real life and it was so much fun! The actual moving part was very hard but I am so happy in my new home. Those of you who watch the vlog channel have seen so much of it. The amazing turtles in my little pond and all of the beautiful trees around our deck and how big the little apartment is. It's a big little apartment it's perfect for us and I'm so 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 happy and whenever I was uh, getting ready to record today I remembered oh yeah I talked so much about the new house and getting ready to move and I hadn't even seen the new house yet when we were on time shot and it made me want to come back and tell you guys while we did some farming about the new house and how the move went and everything and I also wanted to show off this adorable new resource pack that I got I'm not really a big resource pack person but oh my goodness, I couldn't pass this one up. I saw it on Tumblr and I saw that it had really nicely done flowers and plants and I was hooked and I love it. I think I will use this resource pack for, for time shot because it just seems to fit so perfectly. I actually really want to try to make a skin that will match in with this world a little bit better. This is, let me get the name correct in case you guys are interested, the Zigzag Pack by Jasmine, and it is absolutely adorable. I am not sure, yeah, this was released on the 4th of this month, so the 4th of July, and she may have updated it, uh, or he, I don't know, Z, I don't know, um, the gender of the person who made it, but they may have updated it since then. We don't have anything for the pup pups just yet, but look at all my plants! Look at the wheat! Isn't this just the cutest thing? Look at my little wheat! Oh, it's adorable! It's adorable! And look at these! <gasps> Look at the flowers! Oh my gosh! They're so pretty! They're just, look at the peonies! They look like actual peonies now! And the rose tulips, and like the azures, the, the azure bluets. The pig pigs don't look like pigs. Oh, and look at the egg! That is like the cutest egg I have ever seen in the whole wide world. I am, I'm in love with this. And for the fact that I want to do so many flower gardens and farms and things on time shot, I think this is the perfect pack for me. Let's go look at the Z's. Look at them. Look at the little sugar cane. Oh, they're adorable. I'm going to go ahead and gather them up. <laughs> and we'll just gather up this little rush of them. It's been a while since I've gathered the sugar cane. <gasps> Look at the crafting bench! I really am not normally one for the resource and texture packs because they just... I'm fine with vanilla, really. I, I have been for a couple of years. Maybe I'll get bored of it eventually, but I've loved it so far. But look at this! The sugar cane's different. The poppies. Look at the little poppies. <gasps> They're so pretty. Oh, these beautiful flowers. I could just, and they made them look like a rose too. Oh, the seeds, the eggs. Oh, those eggs look delicious. This is just too cute. Too cute. It's totally my style, so I think we'll keep it. How's our cactus looking? Oh, look at you, you little prickly, adorable thing. I want to give you a hug. I want to give it a hug, but I won't. Hopefully they've uh, gotten to the point where they're about ready to update for mods, too. Oh, and we have a package from Mara. Look at this. Look at this. Enjoy. Love, Mara. Oh, Mara. The thought that she, like, traveled all the way out here into the far reaches of... I live in the backwoods on time shot, really. Far, far, far away from everyone else. So the fact that she traveled all the way out here just to leave us a present, that means so much. It makes me want to try to get... um at least a bridge built over my little river over there so that people can get from one side of the river to the other and it through the nether okay. I don't even have a proper path through the nether. It's just the path that like I've memorized on how to zigzag past the lava pools and get over to the time shot hub. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But Mara has left us some presents. <gasps> it's two stacks of cookies. Oh, they look delicious. Oh, wonderful. All right. Oh, and look at my cute little stone axe. Let's put these inside. And in fact, I'm actually running out of room on the inside. Look at the door. Oh, the door is so cute. The torch is cute. Everything is so cute. It's perfect. Perfect for a vanilla feel like this, too. <gasps> That's so pretty. Look at the diamond pickaxe. Look at the watermelon. <gasps> My box of plants. Ah, oh, potatoes, sunflowers. The dandelions look like actual dandelions now. <gasps> this appeals to me on so many levels. And we have a ton of lily pads. So you know what we can do until we build a proper bridge? Let's go build a lily pad bridge. Kind of like we've done in our beautiful zoo world. Let's build a lily pad bridge to get our visitors across the way for now. 
I imagine this will make it easier for monsters to get wiggle their way to us, but that's okay. <gasps> Look at how cute! Oh, I love it! I love lily pads! Oh, and the water is a little bit sparkly. Oh, that's perfect. All right, we need to fill in the little holes. I wish we had various size lily pads like we do in the other world to put down, but we do not. So let's go ahead and cope with what we've got. And almost there. <gasps> Ta-da! It's a lily pad bridge. And we'll fill this spot in and this spot just to make sure it's a nice, easy transition. And boink! And dun 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 boink! Oh, much better. That's adorable. I'm, I'm totally in love with that. That's fantastic. So this will help get our guests across the river now at least. So that was a really easy solution. I'm surprised we've not thought of that before. Oh my goodness. Oh, and while we're over here, I'm going to go ahead and collect some cactus. It feels good to be back here. And that's because uh, you fall into the routines and I love falling in. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I missed you too, cactus. And I love falling into routines. That's really my big thing is having a nice routine. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And getting to know, um, ow, ow. There, I got some cactus. Uh, knowing that, like, what's going to happen with my day? I love that. That's probably why I'm obsessed with to-do lists. That's probably why I end up um, making so many, so many lists and, like, schedules for myself. Is because I find a lot of comfort in just knowing how my day is supposed to go and where it's going to go. Alright, we'll gently tuck the lily pads away. Still have quite a few, which is a good thing. And I've been getting into a pretty good new routine here in our new home. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, what's this? Oh, the saplings look so awesome, you guys. I'm going to have so much fun working and redoing a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of things here in this world. <gasps> I want to see what the blue orchids look like. Oh my goodness, do they look like actual orchids now? Oh, they're so pretty. We're going to have to open like a bazillion flower shops now. That's, that's, that's put the nail in the coffin as far as that's concerned. Though actually putting the nail in the coffin when I'm trying to talk about adorable flower shops kind of isn't the best way to describe it, I suppose. All right, but let's go ahead and get a little bit of farming done so that I can think about sharing some information with you guys over how life has been at the new house because last you saw from our time shot series i was getting ready to move and we have now completed our move and i'm very very happy about that it was it was a lot of work um to load up the u-haul getting everything packed wasn't too much trouble darling and i try very hard to live pretty minimalistically uh, I definitely have far more stuff than he does. He does a much better job at holding up with the minimalistic ideal. Um, and I have like, I have boxes, Emily. I have boxes and boxes of rocks and specimens of seashells. Oh, look how beautiful these are. Oh, I can't. I, I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to put these in like all of my packs. I'm going to have to get just the pieces like this for the plants and put them in everything because I just cannot I cannot resist this this is just too beautiful how could I possibly how could I possibly look away it's beautiful plants everywhere but I'm babbling also I want to put down the sign we're running around because I want to put down a bakery tree so like a baker tree you know you call it a bakery well we're gonna have a baker tree and I need to know where would I want to put a baker tree and I'm kind of thinking maybe We'll fill in this pond, and the baker tree could be close to, oh, I know. So we'll probably make the bridge go across here in the future. And then we've got our little field of wheat. This is kind of far from everybody, but I wonder if we could put the baker tree right here and build a silo to like store the wheat in. And then we could build a little mill to look like it's grinding up the, the wheat into flour. And this could be the bakery. And you can pop up here and you can get like cookies and bread and cake and things like that. So we'll build the baker tree up here. So baker tree. There we go. This will be where we build that. So that'll be that project in the future. Man, we're getting a lot done just in a few minutes. That's wonderful. And we're going to zip back into the house to sleep so that my darling villagers don't get eaten by all sorts of monsters. And we'll have to take Mara back a present as, as thanks for the delicious cookies. 
Oh, look at the sunset. Man, everything's so cute. Everything's so cute and plant-like here, and it's perfect. But yeah, I, I do have a lot of stuff, um, but we donated an entire car full of items before we even got the U-Haul. We filled my car up to the brim, filled the trunk up, filled the back seats. I had stuff sitting in Darling's lap <laughs> in the passenger side, and uh, we donated a, tons of, a ton of things. And in the past, I used to be really like tight-fisted and worried about my money. Uh, still, still, well, tight-fisted is the wrong term. We, I just was raised in a great family where if someone was in need, even if we didn't really have enough to like pay for our own things, you help out your friends. You know what I mean? You help out friends, family. If you're driving home from the grocery store and you see someone like asking for food, then you take out the bananas that you, you got or something like that. Nothing extravagant because you can't really afford to be extravagant, but you, you know, you give people things uh, if they need help. And so I've not tight fisted is the wrong word, but you know, opportunistic is kind of a better term for what I'm thinking about because my mentality has always been, oh, but I could save this and maybe I could sell it and like make life a little less hard if I, if I put this on Craigslist and things like that. But really it's it's often not worth the effort you, i really believe that you attach a lot of your emotional energy to clutter and junk like that so i really we don't buy a lot of things and i don't like to buy a lot of things because i don't like clutter like a lot of people do um the one-up box a lot of people do uh like the gamer boxes that arrive every month or the Jap japan boxes japan crate and things like that and i don't do it because it stresses me out to have those little vinyl figures and little um, little clutter pieces. It stresses me out because it's like, what do I do with it? Now a string of my energy is attached to this thing and I'm responsible for it and I have to find a place for it, but I don't truly deeply to the core of my being want it. And that that's a big problem <laughs> with me is I'll, I'll really stress out about it. So our solution is just to try to not hold on to that kind of clutter stuff and to release things back out into the wilds of the world. Oh my goodness, and the seeds look so cute. They're just so cute. Look at those little tiny things. So when it came time for this move, I really found that my mentality had shifted from, oh, I should save it because this is, this is like worth maybe at least a few dollars at a garage sale or something. And I just kind of sat down with myself and I was like, are you really going to hold a garage sale? Really? And I'm like, no, not really. That's, that's just, it's more emotional time and energy than I have to offer the idea right now. So we just went and dropped off all the stuff at a Goodwill truck that they had in our town, uh, where there's a guy who's in charge of manning the Goodwill truck, and all you have to do is just go and meet with him uh, at the truck, empty your car, and he'll take all the stuff for you, and he will take care of it. He'll sort it into the proper bins that they're supposed to go into, and eventually it will head off to Goodwill. So that made us feel really good. It made me feel really good because there was a lot of stuff like books that I liked a lot when I was in high school, but I, I don't think I'll ever read them again. Like The Sound of Waves, read it for a project in high school and it's a beautiful cover. I had a great edition of it, but <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. I remember the basics of the story pretty clearly, kind of like The Life of Pi. I read it same year for my honors uh, English class. And it was great and normally I'm all for like having a, a nice looking library actually when darling and I first started dating that's one of the things that attracted me to him is that he had a very nice library in his house and it was just like one bookshelf of books but it was jam-packed and it was really nice books some, several of which I had read before nonfiction is his deal so it was really nice to see like oh this one's kind of this one's been read a lot i see that the the back is kind of bent and i see footnotes sticking out of this one like that's one of those subtle cues that some people look for when they're like dating someone and seeing that he was such an avid reader was really fun for me so i'm not against having a ton of books but then then darling gave me a kindle <laughs> he had a kindle that he wasn't really using so he gave it to me and i am now converted to the ease and the environmental friendliness of not having boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of books. I still keep hardcovers of certain books like my James Harriet series for sure that will follow me for the rest of my life. I love the James Harriet series 
it is just a wonderful, a wonderful reread for me. Did you already grow that fast? <gasps> you already grew that fast. Good job, little wheat. But, um, I just, I really loved knowing that I had my, my biggest library of books in my purse and I didn't have to haul it up a flight of stairs to our new apartment. And that was awesome. And it's really nice for when we're on the go and I just have this itty bitty little old Kindle. It's like one of the very first edition Kindles, so it's super old. But I just have this itty bitty little thing in my purse and I don't have to worry about like, oh, um, what if we go traveling and I, I finish this book because I read very quickly. I can finish uh, most books in a day. Like if it's only, if it's only like 400 pages, I can probably finish it easily in a day. But, you know, like then you finish the book and you're stuck the whole trip carrying this book and maybe maybe it's just a unique problem I've had and I still love hardcover books but then you're like well drat now I have this big heavy thing I've already finished reading it I'm bored because I don't have anything else to read and when I would go traveling on planes I have had to pay extra fees for how many books I've brought more times than I care to admit very embarrassing amounts of times I have had to pay significant fees because my uh, my bags would be too heavy because I would have I would have taken too many books with me on my trips so yeah it's real nice not to have to worry about that anymore and that's one of the things I really liked about this move is that I still have a couple bookshelves and they've got my key important books but mostly they're used for displaying my my seashells Ugh. My she she sha she sha 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 sha. My seashells on the seashore. Um, mostly they're used for displaying those, or like my wasp nest that I found. I found a new wasp nest. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a specimen Saturday comparing my two different types of wasp nest. I'm very excited about that. But yeah, it was really nice. The heaviest thing we did have on the move. Um, was definitely my wooden desk, which I actually inherited from Darling's sister because it's a freaking very heavy wooden desk and no one wanted it. <laughs> no one wanted to move it and I fell in love with it and we moved it for my sake. Chicken of the woods, how are you doing, young one? He's doing pretty good. Look at those gorgeous diamonds. Oh, they're just so pretty. Oh, chicken of the woods, that's awesome. All right, there's Ink Cap, who's into trading paper and books. The compass looks amazing too. Man, look at that. And Incap also trades Flame 1, Bane of Anthropods 1. Here's the sweet Incap. Portobello, String, and Flint. I'll have to open up that trade in the future. Meadow Mellow Wax, Rotten Flesh, Gold, which looks adorable. Uh, Chanterelle, there you are, my dear. Just the villager I wanted to talk to. Oh, do you get experience for trading? <gasps> you get experience just for trading. That's fantastic. There we go. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at all that. Chanterelle, you are the best. I love my little farmers. All right, so now we have to get Chanterelle. Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, Chanterelle will trade bread and pumpkin pie and apples, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and fill that up. Look at how cute the apples are! And cookies and cake. I'm gonna go ahead and let's look at the cake. Can it not stack? It cannot stack, but it's adorable. All right, Chanterelle, you feeling like... Nope, not trading for the wheat. Oh, wait! <gasps> wheat trade's open again! Chanterelle. I think Chanterelle is my favorite just from the sheer fact that we're able to get so many emeralds and just... Oh, we just leveled up. We just leveled up because Chanterelle is so kind. Oh my gosh, look at all that. 11 emeralds. Chanterelle, thank you. Inkcap, you are awesome too. Don't think I'm looking down on you. Don't worry, buddy. And look, the peonies are actually peonies. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. And the lilacs are actually lilacs. Oh, I love these plants. Let's go inside and put down our cake because I want to get a good look at what our cake looks like. Eh, cake. Oh, it's cute. Look at it. It looks like it has little strawberries on it now. Nom, nom. Num. Never very filling, but absolutely adorable. But yeah, so the heaviest thing we moved for the whole whole shebang was for sure the heavy wooden desk. But other than that, um, 
I had a heavy wooden dresser as well, and I kind of was just like, nope, we're getting rid of this. We're getting rid of the sucker. So, oh, look at the birch wood. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm in love with this. I really am. But yeah, when it came to the heavy wooden dresser, it really was taking it out of us just to move the things we did. And I just could not even imagine having to move uh, more heavy stuff up those stairs. And the stairs are wooden stairs here. And it was just a really tight fit. And I just was really worried that we would get hurt trying to get this really supremely heavy wooden dresser, which I also inherited because no one else wanted to move it from a previous move when I lived back in Missouri. <laughs> and they were like, so we're not bringing this with us. If you'll give us like 20 bucks, you can have it. And I was like, sure, because it was a solid piece of furniture. But after having moved so much, and this was my fourth move in a year and a half, and Darling and I are both like, yeah, we're not, we're not budging again for a while. And I really hope we don't because this is so beautiful here, you guys. I am so, so happy here. And it's really so gorgeous. And oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Look at the trap doors. <gasps> They're perfect. They're so perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look at the oak wood. It actually has bark on it. <gasps> I'm in love. Oh, that's the dark oak wood, actually. That's the dark oak wood. And then let's compare it. Oh, they look unique and different. I'm in love. Yeah, this, I, I totally, I never really got before how it could revamp you and make you want to do more and want to explore more by having a, a new resource pack. But I want to build more now because I'm like, oh, this is pretty. And like when I was running up, our little building right here, oh, especially with the new trap doors, just looks fantastic. I love that. Oh, I can definitely build a lot more with this. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, but let's see. I'm going to show up over here, guard my little villagers for a moment, put on my armor, get out my Artemis's aim just in case. I really need to get Optifine working with this version. But yeah, oh, and our cookies. We need to remember to give Mara a present. We should get her like a bunch of apples because apples are very, very healthy for you and not very common, but we we're able to get a whole bunch of them fantastically from Chanterelle. So that's wonderful. I need to get more mushroom names prepared. Oh, and I need to fix my, my little uh, fishing zone. I need to do that as well. But yeah, so, oh my gosh. Yeah, the move went great. Um... I ended up rambling a lot about books, but that's okay. This is, this whole series is for rambling. And it was fantastic, and I'm so happy in our new home, and I cannot wait to share more adventures with you guys. If you don't know, I do have a vlog channel, Series Greenhouse, that you can get to from the main channel. And if you look under, like, the Friends tab on the right on the main channel, that is my vlog channel. It is called Series Greenhouse. And it has more about my, like, pets and more about my walks. Kind of like the stuff you see on Expedition Sunday and Specimen Saturdays, but more general to just me having a good time, uh, showing off like what's going on in my life. Hello, everybody! Oh, the sheep do have new faces. That just about scared the bedonkers out of me. Because I turned... Oh, look at their little curly wool! Oh, I'm going to have to see if there's been an update to this resource pack. This is just fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm, I'm very much in love. But yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. I'll see if I can find a link to the resource pack and add it down below as well. Oh, is that the glimpse of a zombie I see? Is that the glimpse of a hungry zombie? Is it perhaps a new zombie child for me to, to, me to bring in? Maybe? Maybe not? Nobody yet. I really love the flower fields, too. Hmm. <gasps> the ferns are so pretty. I just noticed how pretty the ferns are. Oh, is the creeper different? Mr. Creeper, you look a little different. The creeper is different. Didn't get close enough to him. Oh, there's somebody down there. Oh, that's a sheep. I'm so glad I didn't shoot it. I was like, well, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to shoot it. So glad I didn't because it's just an innocent sheepy. Minding his own sheep business. And I would have taken him out in cold blood. But alright, we'll keep an eye out for zombies so we can add more potential villager children. In fact, we might try figuring out how to breed my villagers pretty soon because we have enough of them to do that, I think. 
and I will see you guys next time. So as usual, if you guys want to know what's going on, Time Shot is meant to be kind of like the um, the rambly chit chat, get to know each other sort of series. So you can ask me questions. You can you can comment on things. Let me know. Do you do you prefer like do you have a strong preference for paperback books or do you like having ebooks? Or are you like me and you love both of them? Because it used to be people would be like, you know, it's like dogs or cats. It's like asking if you like dogs or cats more. And people would get so aggressive about it. Hello, little zombinos. Yeah, we're going to take care of you guys. Uh-huh. There you go. A little rotten flesh for my puppies. Good, good, good. Everything's going very well. But yeah, uh, it used to be like asking if you liked cats or dogs more, and it would get people so angry, like over paper books versus ebooks. And I really think they both have their uses. Paper books are now more like, um, I guess they're they're kind of like comparable to digital or physical copies of games, where I'll have the digital copy because of its ease and its portability, and the fact I don't have to mess around with CDs and worry about them getting scratched. But I'll have the physical copy if I really, 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 really love the game because I want a physical representation of it in my world. I actually know someone who made physical copies, like he designed and printed his own copies uh, for empty cases for The Sims 3 um, like download only expansion packs, like Dragon Valley I think. I think Dragon Valley may have had a physical copy, but he wanted them in his collection set, in his bookshelf. Get inside Chanterelle! This is not the kind of behavior I condone. Get your rump inside. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, there's some collectors like that out there who really want to collect everything. I guess that's how I feel with very specific books. I think if I ever couldn't fit all of my books in like two or three boxes again when we move, I would purge them again. Just because there's something to be said for not having a lot of stuff. It feels really nice. I feel like I have more energy to do other things and to experience life because I'm not cluttered up with stuff. So, on that note, I'm going to pop into the bed and make sure my little, my little villagers aren't eaten by any zombinos. And in the morning, we might have to go mining for a little while. Because if we did get more villagers, I believe I am fresh out of enough gold. Yeah, we've got some gold here, but I'm fresh out of enough gold to be able... Oh, look at the lapis lazuli! It's so pretty! To convert a villager into... Um, or a zombie villager into a villager. And I need to be ready. Oh! I think I see a zombino. Let's go say hi. Yeah, no. Not for you. Not for you, sir. Ooh, he dropped some iron. That was sweet. If only they all did that. But alright, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.